Well, a criminal who had the hots for a new bicycle ended up behind bars when he targeted the wrong victim in Gladstone, Oregon. Mastermind criminal Adam Valley attempted to steal a locked bike directly in front of the Gladstone Police Department. <laughs> and guess who was watching on their surveillance camera? Oh yeah, the police. Mr. Valley had some moxie come into the police department in his hoodie and his face mask, using bolt cutters to try and make off of the bicycle. But one officer and a trusty stun gun later, Adam Valley was on the way to jail, and not on a bicycle, but on foot. The 26-year-old was charged with theft, criminal mischief, and felon possession of weapons. I wonder if they can charge him for impersonating a criminal. <laughs> or maybe attempted theft without using a brain. <laughs> not sure, but he's probably not gonna be a big wheel in prison. <laughs> and in a related story, a short fortune teller recently escaped prison. Police say he's a small medium at large. <laughs> mm. I just want to assure the audience, I did not write that particular line. <laughs> I take zero responsibility for it, none. All right, a Mr. Jose El Torres was unfaithful to his wife and attempted a grand gesture to get her back. He created an enormous list of things that he's done that hurt her in their marriage, and then he tattooed them across his chest. An original attempt to show regret and seek forgiveness, yes indeed. The tattoo got posted online and it has received lots of attention, but not for the reasons you might think. His chest declares himself a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a unique spelling of deceiver, and among many other things, he declares himself disrespect all. <laughs> you get that disrespect all? Sounds like a medicine you might take when you're, well, it sounds like a medicine. That's all I'll say. It looks like he has room to add bad speller near his belly button, and maybe he should. No word yet as to his wife's willingness to continue their marriage. We can only hope that she's not a teacher or they may end up getting a door vice. <laughs> and if his wife does dump him and he someday looks for another mate, can you imagine how impressed his new love's gonna be the first time she sees him without his shirt? <laughs> Let's just call this tattoo the ultimate belly flop. And finally, and mercifully tonight, we turn to a story on American health. San Francisco physician Dr. Levi Harrison is sounding the alarm for a growing epidemic selfie wrist. That's right, selfie wrist. Dr. Harrison warns that the modern ailment is caused by people using their phone too often to take pictures of themselves. Selfie wrist is a form of carpal tunnel syndrome caused by flexing your wrist inward too often or holding your phone too long without moving. And a study revealed that between 2011 and 2017, over 250 deaths had been associated with taking a selfie. That's a lot of people dying from selfies. How? Well, everything from being gored by a bison while they're up there holding their stupid camera or shooting themselves even falling from a cruise ship in the Bahamas. But they got a great shot if the phone is waterproof, I guess. I said they got a great shot if the phone is waterproof. And even, thank you, Jeremy, I needed all the help I could get. And even when a selfie doesn't result in death, it still can cost you dearly. Like the woman in Los Angeles who was in a mu museum full of sculptures, when while trying to take a selfie, she lost her balance and toppled over $200,000 worth of art. Hey, well, I'll take a tingly risk over those outcomes any day ever. Well, unlike a bad speller who works as a tattoo artist, we read the news 